banks on their senior debt for the 504s are usually a five or six year fixed, amortized over 25 or 30 years. The second, once the debenture happens for the 504, that's a 25 year fixed rate loan. And today that's at around 2.97% and that's a 25 year fix. Welcome to the Investor Financing Podcast, where we interview real estate investors and lenders so you can learn all the secrets to getting your projects funded and scale your portfolio. And now, your host, Bo Eckstein. Hello, and welcome to another episode, and I'm your host, Bo Eckstein. And today we're going to discuss the eligibility to be able to refinance your 7A loan into an SBA 504 loan. And I'm going to give a couple tips and tricks on why you'd want to do this. And first off, most of the SBA 7A loans are in the sixes on a variable or adjustable rate. If you refinance into a 504, which this is the first time in history that you're able to do this, your rate, blended rate would be 3.75 to four and a quarter, somewhere in there today. That does adjust, obviously. But on a 504 loan, you have a senior loan or a first mortgage, and then you have the CDC or the the second piece. And so your blended rate today would be somewhere between 3.75 and four and a quarter, depending on the bank or non-bank lender. Rates are subject to change, obviously, depending on the on the deal itself. But the bottom line is you could go into a fixed rate and save a substantial amount of money by refinancing into a 504 from a 7A. And here are some of the kind of caveats. The loan applicant must have been in operation for all of the two-year period ending on the date of application. So no startups or new businesses less than two years are eligible for this. There also has to be a substantial reason to refinance, meaning that you're going to have like a 10% savings or greater on your monthly debt debt payments. The prior rule that the loan applicant had to be current on all payments for the past 12 months has been removed from the regulations. However, 504 lender must still use prudent lending standards, meaning with COVID and stuff, they will make some concessions for being late or so forth. But that also comes down to overall, the lender still has to make the decision. So not many lenders want to probably refinance if you're behind in payments and so forth. You're listening to the Investor Financing Podcast. We'll be right back after this break. Are you in the market for a commercial loan? Did you find the perfect opportunity but need funding? Have a special situation? At Find the Bank, you will get quotes with competitive rates and terms from multiple lenders without any hassles. Have a multifamily property, construction project, owner user property, industrial, mixed use, hotel? At Find the Bank, you can get nearly any kind of commercial financing. The process is simple. Once you send us some information about you and your property, we send back a quote sheet. Then we quickly connect you with an advisor. You won't spend hours calling multiple banks trying to find the right person to talk to. We'll connect you fast to the right person, hassle-free. Better terms than you could get on your own. Go to findthebank.com and complete the form. An advisor will be connected with you within minutes to discuss your specific financing needs. Substantial benefit means that the portion of new installment amount for the debt refinance is going to show at least 10% as I was saving, saying before. We don't use the cash out in the calculation for that. So you might be able to get some cash out on the refinance portion of this as well. So anyways, that is really like kind of a high level uh, overview of why you'd want to refinance your 7A that you're paying in the sixes and it's adjustable and you could go into a fixed rate. The banks on their senior debt for the 504s are usually a five or six year fixed amortized over 25 or 30 years. The second, once the debenture happens for the 504, that's a 25 year fixed rate loan. And today that's at around 2.97%. And that's a 25 year fix. So there's amazing opportunity if you have a 7A to look at doing a refinance. Please feel free to book a call and we could dive into the weeds on your particular loan request. Thank you for following our show. Please like and subscribe. And we have one of my colleagues gonna, gonna join us in the next couple of weeks and we're gonna dive deep 
on the guidelines for this 504 refinance. So anyways, if you have any questions beforehand, feel free to reach out. As always, have a great day. Thank you.